Good afternoon, everybody. I'm just uh, reviewing and uh, opening the box of the new my transceiver. Is the Chinese X1M Pro Platinum? Is the last one. So the package arrived only five days. Well packaged. There is the microphone, as you can see, standard one. And uh, the really tiny X1M with the extraction. So let's open it. <coughs> wow, there's also a nice uh, cover for the display actually I have to say that I didn't expect to be so light it's only 600 grams PL259 connector the COM, the seal COM to connect to rig expert and the other software to manage the LTTY PSK31 transmission, the power headphone and the carrier for the CW. The speaker is just under here. And uh, I would say it's really racked, racked stuff. The guarantee the quality of the China, as you can see. And here, the first knob and the volume okay let's open it and see how it's doing how it's performing here we are we connected the microphone to the um, uh, mic and with a cable provided by the same manufacturer we connected the cable to the uh, battery is uh, in this case is a 12.4 um, lead acid battery and now we turn on okay nice so it's quite tiny look it's like my thumb it's really tiny display there is no <coughs> I didn't see the instruction there are many There is no antenna, unfortunately, but as you can see, I can switch to many frequency. Nice. Okay, so I connected the X1M Pro to a uh, white bander, it's a sort of um, uh, tenor and there is a long wire in my apartment on the ground floor of a big uh, building in the city center of Bordeaux and this is the result I can hear why don't we compare the X1M to the Elecraft KX3 so I would say uh, there is a very nice feeling with the X1M Pro transceiver because it's really compact, light. Also, the mic is really easy and uh, small, as you can see. Simply, very simple mic. This is the cable they provide to you. While the KX3 surely is a nice transceiver, is a uh, much better, way long better. Uh, HF full coverage, not only uh, 7, uh, 14, 21, and 28 megahertz, but all the 
other work band so 10 megahertz 18 megahertz the new 5 megahertz and also 50 megahertz band as well the 24 megahertz and uh, you have the cw morse included it's not rugged the construction as the xm1 i think it's a little bit fragile uh, and uh, I think it's heavy. It's one point. It's nine nine hundred grams, one kilo. The Elecraft K3, and plus it cost uh, ten times more than X1M Pro. This is two fifty dollars, while the K3 transceiver is uh, one two hundred dollars. So I would say the winner is the X1M Pro. Uh, even if you lost it or you break it, it's only two hundred dollars. Why, if you go uh, with the electric X3 and you leave it in the car or you damage it, is one thousand two hundred dollars. So if you are very hesitant, if you want, uh, <coughs> if you want to be the winner in a contest, okay, the K X3 is the winner. But if you want to take with you in uh, your pocket, I would say the uh, uh, K, um, HF transceiver just for the weekend with your wife. Uh, I think this is the 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 winner. And really, believe me, it's really tiny, tiny, and uh, less than 500 grams. Really, really uh, handful. Okay, so for for today is uh, enough. Uh, I would like to leave you with this last image. Thank you, 73 by IZ0JOJ or Fox or 4 Victor Quebec Whiskey. Quebec Whiskey, Florida 4 Victoria Quebec Whiskey. Victoria Go? Florida 4 Victoria Quebec Whiskey, QRP. Yeah, this is a QRP station, Florida 4 Victoria Quebec Whiskey. Do you copy? Florida 4, Victoria, Quebec Whiskey. Portable 4P, 35759. Uh, thank you, thank you for the QSO. Bye.